Now I don't usually do videos about individual fish that I keep. Um, I mostly keep guppies, uh, mostly because they breed like wildfire and um, you can't help but talk about them when you have so many of them. I don't even know how many I have. But I have to say that the fish I enjoy the most and the fish I'm so glad that I ended up picking up were these um, Madagascar rainbow fish. They are the most fascinating fish I think I've ever had. The way they swim together, they curl around each other, they um, are 97% of the time quite a peaceful fish. Um, these are about three inches now, maybe a little bit more. And um, apart from chasing the female guppies from their favourite spaces, they do have a part of the tank which is theirs. They will tolerate the other rainbow fish in it, but they will not tolerate um, the female guppies there at all. They do get chased away. But um, I just love these fish and they're really the reason why I'm thinking about getting a bigger tank. Um, I'd love to have more of these, but I think that they are too big to put any more into this tank. Um, it's not too crowded now. Um, quite a lot of the fish that are in there are fairly old. Old guppies um, and a couple of old, very old um, fruit tetras. I mean, how these live so long, I don't know. They have such a terrible start in life that they've done quite well. But I don't feel that I want to put any more in to this tank. So, um, once I manage to get my 120 gallon, these will be the fish that I will be mostly putting in. And of course, Victor. I did worry quite a bit when I started to put the rainbow fish into this tank because Victor is not always the most patient of fish. He can be. Um, he will uh, uh, allow quite small guppies to live in this tank. So these guppies are just a little bit over an inch. He could easily eat them. In fact, he has eaten new fish I've put in the tank that are slightly over an inch he can waft them down but um, he seems to be quite happy to leave fish if long as I put them in when he's not about or it's dark he takes no notice but he can smell a new fish um, but getting back to these Madagascars I would highly recommend them if you have a big enough tank the bigger the better, I should imagine. And the more you can have of these, the more of a display. The, sh the colours that shimmer, shimmer? Whatever. <laughs> I need new teeth. Um, they are just so beautiful. They're now beautiful all day. I find my rainbow fish um, a beautiful my Australian rainbow fish are very beautiful first thing in the morning when the sunlight's on them but then they get a bit dull the rest of the day um, my turquoise are in his spawning mood today he's been like that all, all day today he's been after the girls um, but these are beautiful all day yeah, absolutely an amazing fish and so easy to keep um, you know so easy they eat whatever I put in they, they're not fussy they're happy they're growing they're, you know they just seem to uh, really enjoy being together and to watch them swim together on an evening when I turn the lights down it's quite amazing they swim together like um, 
they're doing a ballet. Yeah. I am not sure whether or not I've got two males or male and female. Um, they both seem to be very colourful in their own right. This one is very, very dark and this one seems to have a more orange effect. So I wouldn't like to say what sex they are. But I would really recommend them to somebody with a tank, say 65 gallon and above, with plenty of room. They do love um, the plants. They really do love to swim in and out the plants. So I am trying to grow some a bit taller for them. But that is my um, recommendation. Um, I don't know if anybody knows more about them than I do, which must be anybody really, because as I said, I've never had them. I bought them at PetSmart. They were the last two left and they were impulse buy. Um, and it was the best, uh, I think they were six dollars for the pair that I um, have spent. They're also very curious. They do like to come up to the glass when I'm here. So they are quite easy to film. They do like to show off. And as I say, the only problem I've had is they do not seem to like the female guppies in their space. 